say is he's going to hit me with the other hand. I'm going to finesse that for a moment. I'm going to tell you he can hit me with the other hand just for a moment. I'll cover that in a moment. Okay. For now, I'm just going to receive the same reception on the inside. I'm going to come back like this. Don't turn your stance. Come back like this and down block. What do we have? It's the beginning of a takedown, isn't it? Right. Okay. Now if I lunge punch, I sit him down. I don't have to punch, but this side, so you can punch the same hand. What's preventing him from hitting me? Your elbow. My elbow. If you go like this, he'll hit me. If I go like this, he'll hit me. If I go like this, he's not thinking hit me. Even if he throws the blow, he'll be off balance throwing it. Okay? So. How much effort did that take? <laughs> okay? Hi, what's your name? Lynn Kelch. And uh, where are you from, Lynn? I come from Killeen, Texas, but I used to live up here. And uh, what style do you currently study? Um, Kosha Shoru Kempo, but I have a background in Aiki and uh, Shoenru, Goju-ru, and uh, a little bit of Weichi-ru and some different styles. So I have a, uh, a whole bunch of different styles that I've mingled in, I guess is the word. And so what did you like about the seminar today? Uh, well, I've been to many of Shiana Nisi's seminars, and I love them. I've been coming here off and on for over 20 years, and I've bought all of his videos, have all of his videos and everything. I like his method of instruction primarily. I like the fact that he teaches principles over techniques, and if you can apply his principles, you can, uh, you can modify your own, create your own techniques. So that's the main thing I like about him. Anything you'd like to say out there to somebody who has, perhaps hasn't come to one of these seminars in person yet? Come. Buy the videos if you can't come. Uh, this is a great dojo and a great facility. He's, like I say, he's been here. Well, he's celebrating his 45th year in the martial arts now, and I think he's been here. I know he's been here at least 20 years in this particular dojo. And it's a great place to train. People are great. And uh, come and get thrown by Shiana Nisi. <laughs> thank you very right, much. Thank you. <laughs> you know I've already said it, and you know I said I was going to say it again. Don't try to push him over your leg. It doesn't work the way you think it works. It works the way I think it works, <laughs> okay? Yes, he may go over your leg, absolutely true. But when you try to push him over your leg, you actually change the direction of the rotation from this to this, okay? And you stretch your own leg. The whole idea here, punch me. The whole idea is to make it so that, I'm purposely not putting my leg in, that rotation is doing the work. Now, I would not suggest you try it the way I just showed you. Because, again, I'm more sensitive to where he's going to move, where he's not going to move. But I suggest you try it the, the way I showed you initially. But don't try to push him. I couldn't have thrown him over by pushing him by doing this. Right? I'm pushing into him. It's not working. And yet that works like, like butter. Right? So, either do it or discuss. Go ahead. Uh, he's kicked with his right foot, and I've done this. And he's punched with his right hand, and I go like, other right hand, and I go like this, right? Now, let's just have him punch with his right hand, and I'll go like this. Okay, now. I'm telling you now, you're gonna wanna hit him and push him. Okay, so don't hit him in front. All right. Turn my hips inside. Rotate my hips. This comes horizontally, not like an upper block, but across this way. And this, of course, is threatening his face or actually hey. hitting him on the street. Watch me. Did I hit him? No. Did I chop at him? Did I hit him hard on the block? Oh. This 
the cause, isn't it? Uh, Sensei Glenn Leonard. Excellent. And, and Sensei, uh, where are you from? I'm from Connecticut. And what style do you study? Kyokushin Karate. Excellent. And, and what brings you to Sensei Nisi seminars? Well, this is actually the second seminar that I've been to, and I think the thing that's really unique and makes me come back to the seminars is, first of all, his style of teaching. Not only does he show you the techniques, but he also gives you the technical aspects, how it works, why it works, and he demonstrates it and actually tells you what the pitfalls are because he's been through this so many times and understands where some of the students are going to fail. So you kind of know that up front, so you get closer to the technique right off the bat. Uh, the second thing here is that the camaraderie, the camaraderie of all the students, uh, the senior students, they come around and they help you. They don't just stand on the side, they don't just do their niche with their own other students in the class. And even Xi'an comes around, he helps you. He makes sure you're understanding what he's trying to teach you. And I think lastly the thing that's really impressive is that when you come to the class, Later on, you can obtain a DVD and go back and, and learn the stuff again. Because how many times you go and you learn 50 techniques at a seminar, you walk away and you say, geez, I can't remember more than three of them. But now that you've experienced, you can go back and look at the DVD and quickly say, oh, yeah, I remember this point and that point that he said, and watch out for this. So I think from a technical aspect and from the camaraderie here, this is an excellent place to come and train. Thank you very much, Sensei. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see. Hey! 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 Hey!